I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. Now go! Welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess Kira that will truly test our mettle. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the Overworld. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the Aether. You've returned as a husk of your former self, but I've taught far denser Underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core, the tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your lackeys get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Now that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head. And they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, Gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, Build a lair, so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest.
well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core could store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. Your dungeon has been breached. Cast Rally upon these spectres, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Your minions are in combat. Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Your minions are being attacked. Your gnarlings made short work of those spectres, but see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon, though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. You're on a roll, Underlord, and I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the Overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Well done, Underlord. I see it all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less, but there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder? while we're at it. It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. Now's the time for a bigger challenge. Before you lies an Imperial Keep, guarded by a certain Lord Rusimov. He had a bit of an accident that melted most of his face, but he's no less vigilant a soldier. He's been sent to guard an object that could threaten our campaign. Get in there, and burn the rest of him, Underlord! We've punctured the veil of this world through a schism, a point of weakness in the bonds between realms. Unfortunately for us, the Empire has crafted defenses to keep us from the heart of their kingdom. These inhibitors prevent underlords from trespass. But whether it's bone or stone, it can be broken. I suspect that this Empire force has yet to taste true battle. But before you go engaging them, you'll need to muster up some minions. Unfortunately for me, your time in the ether has left you a weak husk of your former self. In order to reacquire your powers, you will need to access the veins of evil. 
open them now and use a sin to unlock the archive. Archive unlocked. This room will allow your minions to research additional sins, which can be spent to recover your lost powers. Build one now to begin researching additional sins. Build an archive, Underlord. Your forgotten powers are far more impressive than those you currently wield. You'll need to claim the nearby gateway before minions can enter your dungeon. entered your dungeon. A cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tomes within your archive, these minions will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pen before your minions starve. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Your cultists have worked hard to earn a new sin. Use it within the veins of evil to unlock the tavern. This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ales. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ales. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. You'll still need a slaughter pen in order to keep your tavern stocked. But in a pinch, you can always drop some alternative meat into the grinder. Rooms will only attract a certain number of minions before becoming full. In order to attract more, you will need to expand them. Build one now, and remember that the tavern is unique and must be built at least three by five in order to be effective. It is payday. Nothing in this life is free, Underlord, and you'll regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. Be sure to keep an eye on your reserves, for if you've not enough gold for their wages, 
they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your minions will return some of their earnings by buying meals within your own tavern. What a delicious arrangement. I never get hungry in here for some reason. Something evil stirs out there. Scouts! Go find what the hell's making all that racket! Rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Let's keep Sarusimov in the dark a little while longer. You should try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. Prophecy unlocked. The health of minions is represented by petals surrounding their unit shield. Once no petals remain, a creature will fall unconscious and soon die, unless returned to its lair to recover. They should be back by now. Ugh. Bar the doors! We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. Once minions are rested, you can leave them to their work or force them to train by dropping them in a barracks. If you don't want to do something, you could at least vocalize it, Underlord. The enemy have breached the damn walls! Steal yourselves, lads! Your minions are being attacked.
minions are under attack. Your minions are under attack. Hello. The light is gone. Cure up. I am extinguished. It seems almost charitable to put him out of his misery. Well done, Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. We've barely even started. And you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. But there's no rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusimov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended.